All right, Matt, thanks. The Razorback Greenway opened seven years ago as a system of trails throughout northwest Arkansas. Now it's getting a bit of a makeover. Five News reporter Jose Carranza live in Fayetteville with a closer look at why some call the Greenway the backbone of northwest Arkansas. Jose? That's right. From Mount Kessler to Lake Bay of Vista, the Razorback Greenway spans 40 miles through northwest Arkansas. And now it's being brought all together under one brand with a transportation future in sight. The Razorback Greenway is kind of the premier cycling trail in northwest Arkansas. Whether you're on a bike, scooter, or just two legs, the Razorback Greenway connects seven cities throughout northwest Arkansas. The original kind of foundation for the Razorback Greenway started here in Fayetteville around seven years ago, I think it was, and then it expanded through the entire region. Uh, but the Razorback Greenway never really had a cohesive brand. Changing that, a new website and logo, You'll also notice new mile markers along all 40 miles of the trail with colors representing each city. We, we kind of like to refer to it as the backbone of NWA. That's sort of where the center of everything lives because we have this great deep cycling community here, you know. And so uh, I think lots of businesses, municipalities, they started to recognize what the Greenway has to offer. And that's why you're starting to see so much pop up along the route and it's very exciting. One example is downtown Springdale where the Greenway is a venue for near weekly events. As soon as um, people started riding their bikes more downtown and businesses started popping in, you know, had restaurants showing up and it just made it a lot more inviting to come downtown. And now Deb says she can see a transportation future with the Greenway, almost like I-49, but for pedestrians. And when that really starts to happen, then people can use that Greenway to travel to school or travel to work, um, go to do the things that they um, enjoy doing in their life without having to be forced into traffic. And of course, the Greenway hasn't gone without its issues. Construction of the Walmart campus in Bentonville has actually caused detours for the Greenway. Hill says that they've worked closely with the city to come up with alternate routes. In Fayetteville, covering news for you, Jose Carranza, 5 News.